Okay, quick one here about uh, U-joints that are staked in, that are common on the rear drive shaft of Toyotas and Hondas and so forth. What you can see, if this will focus good enough, is you can see that they are staked in there so that uh, there's no clips or anything to hold them in and so you wonder how am I going to get that apart, right? Well, it's not that bad. Um, I do heat them a little bit, you don't have to heat them, but uh, what I do is I will lay it on the anvil part of the vise right here, and then I will drive them out using the vise grip and a cross shaft pin from a GM differential is what I use for my drift. It's really hard and it's it works great for that fits right in there like that and then hit it with a pretty good size hammer a few times and it will loosen up and you can drive it down turn it over drive it the other way and then you'll have to get in there with a really slim chisel or something and work from there and push the cap off Work in, the, get it in there where you can fit and push the cap out and then so forth with the rest of them. And that will work. It's tight and it's uh, a little tricky to get them going, but once you got them going, no problem. And then uh, the same thing, this is a Napa U joint I got. It has internal clips, you can see right there. And those are what will hold it on rather than the, the swedging or the uh, staking that the factory did. And so what I do is I will just, same way, just drive them in using the pin. But um, when I'm doing it that way, I will use this beat up brass hammer so that I'm tapping lightly on it and not banging it too much. And then this one has the grease circ right there. So in order to drive that cap, simply use a 13 millimeter impact socket, slip it over there and you can drive that cap down without wrecking that greaser. Get it all together, grease it a little bit, and there you go. Good luck.